What's up, y'all? Welcome back. It's your girl, Brit, <sighs> aka BB or Brit, Brittany, whatever the hell y'all want to call me. It's all good. It's all good. How y'all doing, Earth Signs? What's popping, Earth Signs? What's going on, Earth Signs? What's up, Taurus? What's up, Virgo? What's up, Capricorn? What's good? What y'all doing? What y'all up to? What's up? I'm being really silly right now. Anyways, what's up, Earth Gang? Um, ooh. <laughs> okay, Salsa. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I just had some salsa water and that shit just came right the fuck back up. But anyways, what's going on, on Earth Gang? All right, so these are messages from the divine. This is something a little bit different. We are not focusing on love today, guys. All right, at least not yet. All right. But this is your uh, messages for the month of October from the divine, okay? These are messages from spirit. These are messages from your spirit team and um, your spirit guides, your ancestors, your angels, all that walk with you and protect you, okay? These are messages from source, all right? And we'll do Taurus, Vir Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. That's the order that we'll go in, okay? For no specific reason. I think that's just the way that I say it when I say the signs out loud. So that's the way we're going to do it. We're going to do Taurus first, Virgo, and then Capricorn, all right? All right, Taurus. So let's see what's up with y'all. And then I'll have timestamps for each sign. I'll have timestamps. Mercury retrograde. I cannot talk. <laughs> I know I'm not the only one struggling with this Mercury retrograde and like, talking like so tongue-tied so twisted up like my speech is ridiculous right now like and then like i've noticed in some other videos that i've recorded like i sound really like deep and like masculine like this <laughs> so i'm just like yo where the fuck is going on <laughs> that's not my voice bro <laughs> but anyways all right taurus let's jump right into it let's see what the messages um that spirit has for you okay <laughs> it keeps happening i'm sorry that i'm tongue-tied you guys Blame it on Mercury retrograde. And this lighting too. Blame it on Mercury retrograde. I don't know why everything looks so dark right now. I don't know. I do have my little like night light on. But uh still I'm looking kinda it's looking kinda dull in here, right? But then that didn't make it any better either, did it? I don't know. Let it do its thing, I guess. I don't know, guys. I don't know what the hell is going on. I really don't. All right, Taurus, let's see what messages do we have for you. And I am using the new Rachel True deck, the True Heart um, Intuitive Tarot deck. I am so in love with this. It was a birthday gift, and it's amazing. I love this deck. This light is really bothering me. I don't know why it's looking real, like, dull. Like, I got, like, a filter on it or something. All right. I'm just using my iPhone camera. All right. All right, Taurus. Messages from spirit. Let's see, Taurus. What spiritual messages do I have for you? Spiritual messages from my Taurus. Taurus, let's see. It's a little weird shuffling um, a new deck, you know. So bear with me. I'm trying to be gentle with my cards. I don't want to fuck them up. All right. Okay, Taurus. Here we go with all this, this pinnacle energy. Oh, and this deck, the pinnacles are called disc. Okay? So all this disc energy, this pinnacles energy. This is straight up earth. This is you, Taurus. All right, Taurus. I'm seeing here that a lot of you are getting a move on things. And you're moving pretty fast. And you're healing. This is beautiful. Ten of swords reverse. You're healing. You're healing. A lot of you, you know what I'm getting? The illustrations in these cards are so beautiful. It's an intuitive deck for sure. I interpret so many different cards so differently when I'm using this deck. Very intuitive. Taurus, you know y'all love y'all possessions. Y'all love y'all um, material items. You know, Taurus is the sign of luxury. Taurus and Libra uh very um luxurious signs you know that's that venusian energy really focuses on beauty and material and luxury and and food taurus y'all love good food right um but anyways with all that being said taurus i see here that a lot of you are coming out of that stage I, taurus i'm seeing here that a lot of you are um 
definitely I, I wouldn't say that you're being more simplistic <laughs> But I will say this, Taurus, I feel like a lot of you are putting that on a back burner. It could be everything that's happening right now in the world, the pandemic and everything. I feel like a lot of you are just um, like, listen, I have a lot. I own a lot. Um, I'm grateful for everything that I have. And that's not my main focus right now. Taurus, I'm seeing here that you're saying material items and, you know, um, luxury items. See, the light looks better now. I don't know what's going on. But I feel like a lot of you are just taking a back seat and saying, you know what? I don't need to spend that much, you know, I don't need to keep shopping. Where am I really going? You know what I mean? Things are shutting back down depending on, you know, where you're at in the world. And, you know, you're just like, listen, shopping right now is not a priority for me. I see here that a lot of you are prioritizing and, and figuring out what's more important. A lot of you could be spending more time with family too. And if you're not, Spirit is saying it's time to spend, it's time for you to spend more quality time with your family, with your loved ones. I'm also seeing here that a lot of you are doing some self-work, some shadow work. So good for you, Taurus. I see a lot of you are in the process of healing. You could have recently... Um, gotten out of a relationship i'm seeing some of you could have definitely um gotten out of a, of a ugh, of, an, of a relationship oh my god mercury retrograde why y'all do me like that yeah as soon as i said a lot of you probably got out of a relationship i felt that so we have the two of cups reversed a lot of y'all could have even got divorced if you and this person were married i'm seeing separation i'm seeing divorce here because i feel like um yeah very um you know what it was too it's a lot of disappointment here Taurus you've been disappointed by this person that you were with I'm seeing here that a lot of you felt like this person didn't understand you and so now you're spending more time with yourself and nurturing yourself I feel like Taurus some of you could be telling me that you were looking for approval and validation from outside sources and from your partner and I see here that you didn't really get it I feel like you both had different love languages love styles and you know it was just it was imbalanced. The two cups reverses um, a disharmonious connection, an imbalanced connection, unrequited love. This is one person giving, you know, more than the other, putting in more effort than the other. This is also telling me that it just was no meeting of the minds. You know, you guys just didn't understand each other. And, um, it left you disappointed. I'm not seeing too, many, too much fighting or conflict, which is good, but I just feel like it was a lot of disappointment. Taurus, this is telling me that your love life has been disappointed. For, this, for those of you who are resonating with this message, um, your, your spirit team is saying that it's okay. It's okay. It's time to do the self-work. You're doing the self-work. And like I said, a lot of you are prioritizing and just being smart with your finances, saving more, and just really paying attention to what's more important and spending more quality time with family. And this is good, Taurus. This is so good. Yeah, six of cups. Yeah, a lot of you could be returning to your old hometown. A lot of you could have traveled during the pandemic as well. I know a lot of people who, like I live in New York. A lot of people that are not from New York went back home, you know, especially like my coworkers, for instance. Just a lot of people that I know when all of this started to happen, people were like, I'm going back home to be with my loved ones. I'm going back home to be with my family. You know, my family don't live in New York. I'm going back home to be with them. So tortoise, ugh, tortoise. Taurus, this could be you as well. Um, you know, or you could be moving like a goddamn, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I was about to say. <laughs> Fuck it out. But the messages are good, right? The messages have gotten out. Taurus, this is just telling me that a lot of you could be traveling back to your hometown. You could be traveling to see your family, spending more time with your family. Your spirit guides definitely um, are sending a message to me right now that you need to spend more time with your loved ones. You know, stop closing off your heart. Stop closing off your heart space and being, you know, cooped up in the house. You know, a lot of Taurus, y'all are homebodies. Y'all don't really want to do shit. So you probably wasn't even affected by the world shutting down. Down, you probably was like great I would love to fucking work from home I would love to stay home all day you know what I'm saying Taurus but I just see here that it's time to get out it's time to reconnect with your family it's time to spend time with them some QT some quality time all right Taurus and uh for those of you who've gotten out of that relationship I see here that you know you two 
I, I mean, these are not love messages, but I'm just seeing here that you two um, definitely uh, realized that y'all were outgrowing one another. Or Taurus, you, I mean, Taurus, I see here that you definitely felt that way, that you could have been outgrowing this person, that you two don't really have anything in common or you're not on the same path. And like I said, you didn't have the same love language. There was no meeting of the minds. You know what I'm saying? You two just didn't understand one another. So it was time for it to end, I guess. Um, this light is looking really bright again. I don't know. It's like either it's dull or it's really bright. Hopefully, you know, whatever. Take the messages. It's not about me or with the lighting, I guess. <laughs> All right. Virgo. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. I love my Virgos. I think it's because I have so much Virgo in my chart, but I love my Virgos. Virgos, y'all are the bomb diggity dot com. Do people still say that? Who fucking cares, right? But Virgo, y'all the bomb. Y'all the shit. I love y'all, okay? I love my Virgos or my Virgos, okay? Anyways, let's see what messages the divine has for you, Virg. What spiritual messages do we have for my Virgos? Virgos invest in um well let me not even say invest like it's super expensive but you guys should buy a singing bowl i'm not sure if y'all familiar with what a singing bowl is for those of you that are you should definitely get a singing bowl i intuitively felt that and my eyes went straight to mine i have like a little mini one here underneath my uh, desk where i keep my cards and stuff um but yeah it's just a singing bowl, okay? You could Google or, you know, look on YouTube of, you know, how to play a singing bowl and, you know, what's the effects and things like that. But it's healing music, okay? It's it's a healing, it's a healing tool, okay? And uh, Virgo, I'm seeing here that maybe you should invest in one. That's the intuitive message that I got just now. That was the download that I received, that you should invest in um, a singing bowl. And if you don't want to go get a singing bowl, then maybe you should just watch videos of someone playing a singing bowl and just sit alone and meditate. Virgo, I'm getting here that a lot of you need to meditate. You could have recently picked up yoga. That's great. That's that's great. I'm I'm just feeling like a lot of you can heal through music, Virg. That's the intuitive message that I got. A lot of you um, will find music very healing. Okay, I know I find music very healing. I heal through music. So, I heal through many other ways, but music is definitely um, a tool that I like to use. Okay. Ooh, Virg. Okay, that wanted to come up in the upright. It just switched over on me. Okay, Spirit, Spirit said, hold on. Okay, Virg. A lot of you release somebody that was um disturbing the peace okay let me get my body right oh i be feeling weird sometimes sitting here what i'm sitting on is very comfortable but my legs tend to go to sleep <laughs> really easily but virg i'm seeing here that a lot of you release somebody that was drama filled this person could have been a sagittarius a leo or an aries i'm getting strong fire here and i'm getting a lot of air too gemini libra aquarius but either way you know we don't have to focus on the signs this could be anywhere in their chart so don't get too caught up on the signs you know i like to tell you i don't get too caught up on the signs or whatever but this is really telling me Virg, that a lot of y'all released this person um y'all got away from this person you did and it was the best thing that you could have did to get away from this person i feel like somebody was being really mean to you really quick really snappy i'm also seeing here that this person's health could be failing uh, for whatever reason and that's why they were uh yeah you could have been dealing with a gemini on aries somebody was showing gemini aries in their chart you two love each other but i'm just seeing here that right now spirit is saying it's time for you again to meditate um go into hermit more hermit is the card of virgo that is your energy baby so it's time for you to just focus on yourself yeah the empress it's time for you to pamper yourself this is what it's telling me it's time for a lot of self-care virgo y'all good with that y'all good with self-care you know y'all love on yourselves like no other especially my um high vibrational uh virgos my high vibrating virgos 
yeah and also Virg, this is also yeah again i told you that you released somebody toxic we have the devil reverse and this could also be telling me that you released your own toxic patterns and behaviors a lot of you could be eating better spirit is saying that it's time for you to treat yourself better to nourish yourself Virg, y'all good for the health shit this is what y'all supposed to be doing. Virgos are really good for um for health. A lot of Virgos um tend to take up professions as nutritionists and uh personal trainers, fitness, anything health related, you know, for good health. So, Virg, if you, you know, been struggling with your health and you, you know, you haven't had the best diet or whatever, I'm seeing here that spirit is saying now it's time to tap into that um and get on a health kick. Be healthy. Treat your body better. Okay? I'm seeing a lot of you probably going to, like, spas now. Um, investing in, like, some professional massages. Some deep tissue massages. You know, things like that. I'm seeing here that a lot of you are taking care of yourselves. Really good. And if you're not, then Spirit is saying it's time for you to take better care of yourself. It's time for you to take your health more seriously, Virg. Alright? It's time for you. It's, it, it's the time for self-care. And this person that you're dealing with, this air sign, I was getting strong, uh, Gemini. But like I said, don't necessarily have to be. But I do feel like it's somebody that you're connected with and love. So if you're single right now, this part of the message is not for you. But for those of you that are married or in a committed relationship or are like really entangled with someone, I'm seeing here that you two are arguing a bit. Um, there's some conflict between you two. And um, I don't really feel like... You know, you're falling out of love with this person or vice versa, Virg. I don't really feel like this person is falling out of love with you either. I was just seeing here that somebody is going through a lot. Like I mentioned, you know, somebody's health could be, um, they could be having some health struggles. Don't necessarily have to be. But I'm seeing here that it's a personal issue with them and they, they may be taking it out on you. Okay. So I don't see a breakup here, but I just feel like you guys need to kind of give each other a little, you know, a little space. You know, be sensitive with one another, be kind to one another, because somebody here is dealing with something that the other person is unaware of or could be aware of. But that, like I said, they're just taking it out on you and Berg, this could be reverse. You know, this could be you taking it out on your person because you're dealing with something. And that could be why spirit is telling you to take your health more seriously and to treat yourself better. Okay. All right, Virg. So those were your spiritual messages. All right, Virg. I don't really feel like y'all will have a problem with that. Like I said, most of y'all are really good for that and, um, you know, for the health shit and uh, good health but um, and fitness and things like that. But like I said, if you are struggling with that, Virg, I don't feel like it would be much of a struggle to transition over and start getting more serious about your health because, like I said, that is something that y'all are known for. That's just natural for a verb to take their health uh very seriously okay so spare the saying do that <laughs> do that do that and be kind to yourself and be kind to your mate i was getting a strong message here for the, those of you that are in relationships that are in marriages be kind to one another y'all okay be kind because y'all love each other but somebody here is going through something and is taking it out on the other person don't do that, okay? Don't do that. All right, Cappy. Cappy, you up next. What's up, Caps? What's up, Capricorn? Capricorn, Capricorn. Spiritual messages for my Capricorns. Let's see what messages do I have for Cap. Well, let's see what messages Spirit wants me to give you, Cap. These are messages from the divine. Let's see what your spirit guides, your ancestors, all that protect and surround you have for you what messages does divine have for you what messages do you have for capricorn spirit what soul messages do you have for capricorns capricorn a lot of y'all are soul searching that's what i'm hearing uh i'm getting a clear audience message here a lot of y'all are soul searching cap What's going on? You soul searching? You trying to find your purpose, maybe? This could be career related. You know, Cap's are very career goal oriented people. Cap, you crying? What are you crying about? Ten of Swords reverse. A lot of y'all are healing. Oh no, Cap. 
you crying over a guy this could be an earth sign like yourself a taurus virgo or capricorn so capricorn this is telling me that you may have recently experienced a breakup or someone could have passed away but i'm seeing a lot of sadness this woman is drowning in sadness y'all know i love the illustrations on it on these cards these new cards look at that the five of cups so much disappointment sadness a lot of y'all could even be taking um showers and baths and just crying in the shower or the bathtub i see you just soaking and just crying and i feel like it has a lot to do with this masculine earth energy so cap if you're the woman you could be doing this i'm seeing here you could be crying about your partner or your or a recent loss you could have lost someone my condolences if so but i'm I, i'm definitely seeing here a loss okay doesn't have to be a loss as far as somebody transitioning but it could like i said it could be a loss as far as a romantic uh connection is involved romantic relationship <sighs> cap i got some good news for you though i do feel like you're overcoming this you know you will be healing yourself and then like i said i have the ten of swords reversed cap this is also telling me that a lot the possibilities are endless for you i see a lot of um possibility a lot of resources being accessible to you so if you're upset about it um like a work situation or even love um this loss here that i'm seeing some of you crying about there's so much more to discover especially if you're crying about like a breakup or something you know that's okay it's okay to feel how you feel you know, I'm not saying anything's wrong with that. You have to heal. And crying is very therapeutic. So please cry and get it out. You know, cry as much as you need to. Take as much as take as much time as you need to, baby, okay? But what I'm seeing here, Cap, is that you have so much to look forward to that I feel like you don't even realize, like, how much you have to look forward to. This could be other love options, love interests, more job opportunities, business opportunities. But I'm just seeing here an abundance of things. Like, you're, you're good. You have a lot to choose from. Okay, this is not the end, baby. This is not the end of the world. This is telling me a lot of you feel like it's the end of the world. It's not. Yeah, a lot of you are trying to cling on to this person. Definitely could be dealing with a Taurus for some of you. Um, and here you are. Or you could be dealing with a Scorpio. But here you are with the devil energy cap and the Empress reverse. So a lot of you could be struggling too with your appearance right now. You know, something changed in your appearance. Maybe you lost a lot of weight or you gained a lot of weight. Or, um, you know, you having some skin issues. I know a lot of people are having skin issues now because of those damn masks. Um, not that I have anything against masks. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying I know a lot of people are getting like skin irritation, especially like, you know, the chin, mouth area. You know what I'm saying? Where the mask is all day, every day. So maybe that could be something too. Maybe you're breaking out. But I'm seeing here that you're not really feeling your best right now. I'm seeing here that you're a little like, you don't really feel like you look your best, Cap. Okay? But Spirit is saying that you're fine. Like, you're being so hard on yourself. Yeah, you're being so hard on yourself. Cap, like I said, you have so much to look forward to. The possibilities are endless. You have so much to choose from. And I know I'm repeating myself, but I'm seeing it here again. And Cap, this is also telling me that a lot of you could be doing some sneaky shit. Spirit is saying, make sure that you move in with integrity. Because I have the justice card here. And let me tell you, Cap, if you're doing something that you shouldn't be doing, or you being sneaky or hurting somebody or moving in a way that you shouldn't be moving, karmic justice is here. And um, for most, most of you know, but if you don't, let me let you know this right now. We are in the season of karma. This is the season of karma. Okay? So Capricorn, let me tell you, either this is you or someone else. But um, this Seven of Swords energy, this lying, this deception, um, backstabbing, sneaking, hurting people, not being truthful, not being genuine, not being upfront, that shit is going to come back to you. Or whoever it is, it's going to come back. Spirit is saying, you know, move with integrity, move with honesty. Okay? Because I see here that a lot of y'all could be doing something to someone that is extremely powerful. This person is coming up as the high priestess. So you could be doing something to a Virgo 
or Virgo could be trying to do something to you, but I'm strongly feeling like it's you. You don't know what you're going up against. Okay, this is a specific message for somebody. But your spirit team is like, yo, when you fucking with this person, you know, it's almost like you trying to send a demon or something. I'm just using this as a metaphor, okay? But listen, if you know, you know. If you up there like me, then you, we right here, okay? You could be trying to send a demon or something to somebody, right? Fuck with somebody's head a little bit. Get some control over their reality, their thoughts. And um, it's like, yo, this demon goes to this high priestess and the high priestess sent him back to you with fucking candy and shit and balloons and shit. And you're like, yo, did you do what I told you to do? And it's like, yo, now I'm turning on you. I'm mad. Now the beast is turning on you, Cap, and mad at you. How you going to send me over there to that high priestess? We don't fuck with her. You know what I'm saying? Only person that could tame that beast, that demon, is the high priestess. High priestess has both masculine and feminine, divine, divine masculine, divine feminine energy. The high priestess is intertwined and connected to both realms. The high priestess knows their shit. The high priestess is able to tame this beast. So you don't know what you up against, Cap. Y'all better move smart or else you will be paying. You'll have a lot of karmic debt fucking with this person okay so that's a message specifically for somebody but uh you'll have a lot of karmic debt fucking with this person all right i know that was a bit intense towards the end but um somebody needs to know that uh they don't know what they up against and they don't know who they dealing with <laughs> straight like that all right y'all so those were your spiritual messages my earth signs, thank you so much for rocking with me. Thank you for tuning in. I love you guys so, so much. I wish you the best and I will see you very soon. Bye.